Hi, I'm Jimmy Walker, Fire Chief for the Independence Missouri Fire Department. Did you know that the most dangerous thing about a fire in your home is the smoke? The flames are dangerous, but the smoke from a house fire is poison. One big breath could kill you, and you could be nowhere near the fire. The firefighters with the Independence Fire Department don't want that to happen to you, so we're going to share some tips that will keep you and your family safe and give you the power to escape if there's ever a fire in your home. First, every home needs a fire escape plan. How do you make a fire escape plan? It's easy. Draw a map of your home and draw arrows showing two ways out of each room. This way, if a fire is blocking one way out, you have a second way out, like a window. Be sure to pick a place outside where everyone will meet and include it in your plan. Once you have made your fire escape plan, share it with everyone you live with and post it where everyone can see it. The best fire safety tool you can have in your home is a working smoke alarm. Install smoke alarms and make them work for you. There should be at least one smoke alarm on every floor of your home and one near the bedrooms. The smoke alarm is like a watchdog that is on duty all day and all night, ready to let you know when it smells smoke. And just like a watchdog, smoke alarms have powerful noses. They can smell smoke long before a human can, and they are loud. When the smoke alarm goes off, it makes a very loud sound telling you, hey, something is on fire, get out of the house. When you hear the smoke alarm, you need to get out and stay out. Don't go back until a grown-up tells you it's safe. Smoke alarms can only be good watchdogs if they are working properly. To make sure they're working, they should be tested every month, and the batteries change when the clocks change in the fall and in the spring. Remember, change your clocks, change your batteries. This way, you can be sure the smoke alarm watchdog is working the way it should. So, how do you get out when the smoke alarm goes off? Simple, stay low to the floor and crawl to the nearest exit. Remember, smoke is poison, and the good air is always down low near the floor. If the smoke alarm goes off in the middle of the night, remember to roll out of bed, stay low, and crawl to the nearest exit. Get outside and stay outside. Remember to sleep with your bedroom door closed. A closed door will keep the poison smoke out of your bedroom. When you crawl to the door, feel it with the back of your hand. If the door is hot, do not open it. The fire is right outside, but it can't get to you if you leave the door closed. Stuff a blanket under the door to keep the smoke out and crawl to a window and get it open any way you can and get out that way. If the window is on an upper floor, stay by the window and yell for help. Yell, help, fire, until someone comes to help you. Once you get outside, where do you go? Your fire escape plan should have an outside meeting place. A tree in the yard on the sidewalk by the end of the driveway are good meeting places. Everyone you live with should know where the meeting place is and go there when they hear the smoke alarm. Okay, you have a fire escape plan and a working smoke alarm. Now what? You need to practice your plan. You don't want the first time doing your escape plan to be during a real fire, so practice twice a year. Start by testing the smoke alarm. When the alarm sounds, get low and crawl to the nearest exit. Once you get outside, stay outside and go to the meeting place with your family. Practice the second time and use a different exit than you used the first time. After practicing your fire escape plan a few times, it will be easy to do if there's a real fire. Smoke alarms really are the best tool you can have in your home to alert you if there's a fire. Make sure you have them and that they work. Remind parents and grown-ups to test them and change the batteries when they change the clocks. Make a fire escape plan, marking two exits from every room and a meeting place outside. Practice your plan twice a year, remembering to roll out of bed at the sound of the alarm, staying low in the good air and crawling to the exit. Then practice again using a different way out. These tips are proven to save lives. Following them will give you the power to escape if there is ever a fire in your home. If you own the home you live in and are within the city limits of Independence, Missouri, the Independence Fire Department can provide and install up to two smoke alarms in your residence, free of charge. For more information on our smoke alarm installation program, call the Independence Fire Department Fire Prevention Division at 816-325-7123. Thank you for watching, and stay safe, everybody.